Margaret Ann Windsor, uh, and uh, this is my real name, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey, and I married the Childers. They were born out of wedlock, the twins were, and they were both dead. They were killed by their mother, Lina Mae Dempsey, and uh, that was the name they gave me when they kidnapped me from Buckingham Palace. I'm Victoria the second, the legal heir to the British Crown. This is Carl Preston, the twin to Peggy. Uh, they were both killed by Lina and covered up. Um, when I finally got a hold of the birth certificate, I have to use it still till, till, until and when I get my real name back of Margaret Ann Windsor. Uh, I've always used January the 7th of 39, so that posed a problem for the state of Alabama, the birth certificate. This is um birth certificate for Carl, and the date was changed. You can see where it's marked through, which is illegal, by the way. Uh, it says so right on the certificate. They marked through it and put January the 7th, and it looks like they put 39. Um, and they left uh, 1938, which is what they originally put down, and that's when the twins were uh, born. I don't know what month. Um, Peggy is the name that I have to use. They marked through the month and put January the 7th, and they left 1938. They didn't put 39 in it. So the death certificate's here for Carl, but it's redone. Um, there was no doctor, no nothing. They just put him in a box and uh, buried him. She was fed to the pigs, and no, this is no joke. So it was a life of hell. And uh, like a pig style, what can I say? I wanted just, uh, I've made several tapes today, so this is one I just want to make sure that I kind of connected it. Uh, I did a book back in... 76, 77, 78, and when I was living in Marietta, Georgia, and I lived there a long time, and in fact, my sons, Mark and Scott, were born in uh, <clears throat> Mara, Georgia. I lived in Decatur, Georgia, on Prince's Circle, and <coughs> etc. <cetera. clears throat> now then, Larry Flint was uh, shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, while I was doing the book a few miles away in Marietta, and his attorney was killed. Now, I wrote about mind control and how uh, agencies are, nowadays it's corporations or individuals can use mind control. So I'm going to say this, because if you went to a psychiatrist and you even thought, or a doctor, that you had mind control, you know what they do with you? They're using the mental health system. Mind control has nothing to do with uh, mental illness. Mind control is a weapon. So anyway, um, MK Ultra was brought before Congress in 53. You can Google it. The thing is they talk about mind control. Uh, you can get a lot of it there, but they don't tell about the patterns. These, as far as I know, are the only ones done in patterns, and they were done deliberately. Now, I'm only going to put a few here. I'm going to show my dad the real King Edward VIII, who was married to my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. And that's my Aunt Georgia. And uh, they even filmed the 007, well, he plays 007, Daniel Craig, Aliens and something, but they filmed it on her ranch out in Albuquerque, and she's been deceased a long time. And uh, anyway, that's my father. This is my grandfather, uh, George the Fifth, not Six, the imposter that's Elizabeth's father. George the Sixth, uh, excuse me, Fifth. My grandfather, my father's father. Now, this is the double that married, imposter that married Wallace Simpson. 99 years still put on the tape down to my father. He wasn't even married to her. 
And I was kidnapped, and my uncle George the sixth, Elizabeth's father, and they're uh, illegal. They hijacked the monarchy. Uh, they're planning my kidnapping in '39. And the uh, Kennedys, he um, appointed John Kennedy as uh, ambassador to England, 36 to 46, during the takedown of my father and my kidnapping, and I'm Victoria II, the legal heir to the British crown. Now then, the New World Order consists, the Illuminati, and Elizabeth is a member, and Charles, and so she joined forces, they did, with the people that kidnapped me and took out Tsar Nicholas, along with Woody, <laughs> Woodrow Wilson, you know, all the presidents, as far as I know, with the exception of Jimmy Carter, and I don't know about him, I hope not, were Freemasons Illuminati. Um, New World Order that's in place, man. Mind control is one of the ways global. And um, these are some of the mind control. And this is James Holmes, Aurora, Colorado. He's being treated for mental illness. And I could go on and and I really wanted to uh, just make sure I put some of the patterns, uh, patterns in here. There's more to them. Uh, by the way, uh, Larry Flint flew me out there doing a political campaign to replace the Dr. Larry McDonald, congressman I wrote about, and this was the endorsement uh, later in Hustler. Now then, uh, my sons Mark and Scott are heirs after me. This is an old photo, Mark and Scott. And this is uh, G uh, Gabby Gifford, uh, the congresswoman who was in Tucson, Arizona in the shootings there, Mass. This is her husband, Mark Kelly, and he's a twin to Scott Kelly, and both of them are uh, astronauts. Remember Huntsville, Alabama, Moulton, Alabama? Now, uh, Lina Dempsey, the mother of the twins, I showed her name, she was actually with Governor of Alabama George Wallace in Laurel, Maryland, when um, he was shot, and his life became horrible. I don't think he even liked the woman, but it's the placement there. Now I want to go back, oh, okay, in uh, June of 79, after I'd done the book and so much happened, I got a letter from the FBI, and I was living at Laurel Wood Apartments there in Marietta. I'd moved. And on April Fool Day, with a letter from the FBI, I got antifreeze put in me, and I should have died. And I was uh, taken across the state line to Alabama, and somehow I survived to a degree. I worked for the district, uh, district attorney, Fred Simpson. Now, Simpson was supposed to have married my father. It's a lie. And she married a double. And uh, that's when I was working for Fred Simpson in Huntsville. That's when John Lennon was shot by Mark David Chapman. Uh, Mark is my son's name. David is my father's name. He's King Edward, but they called him David. And Chapman is just the letter C uh, out of Childers. And my kids are really named, my sons are Windsors, but we don't have her name. And the Windsors seem to have joined forces and are the New World Order and helped in my kidnapping. At least some of them did. So uh, that makes it pretty good now, <laughs> doesn't it? Uh, so anyway, I, I've contacted um, uh, Proctor. His uh, grandfather uh, was the one that delivered the twins back then. As far as I know, he was good, but I also went to the district attorney, Osborne, back then. You get the runaround. They say the FBI handles it, and you just I just get the runaround. And I won't go into the other things that are being done to me here that's taken out my health, but the letter from the FBI to U.S. Attorney Harper in 79 said a national security involved ongoing investigation. So Edward Snowden only touched the tip of the iceberg with national security agency because actually they've become global. They're really... Uh, all under one <laughs> rooftop, so to speak. And then you get Interpol. Where do you go when you can't get a policeman to work for you, or law enforcement, I should say? Okay, where do you go? Because that's what has been done to me.